Australia is very passionate and committed to gender equality in all of the work. We really want more women to be at the table at the plenipotentiary. Women are not able to take up a lot of these positions because they don't know how. And with the actions of Australia, it will enable more women to participate. We will be glad to be receiving an invitation from Australia so that we have empowerment of women. It's good that we call it empowerment because women have this inner power and we just need to enhance it. I would also like to see more women participating in ITU meetings, especially from um, developing countries. I believe it's very important for uh, women in order to guarantee gender equality at the ITU, which is quite male dominated. We have seen men going ahead of us, so we want women to be provided services so that the socioeconomic status of women is transformed using ICTs. A lot of women are affected by issues of access and uh, issues of cyber security. So we're looking forward to um, adding our voice uh, to the discussion. It's not just about having women on the delegation. It's not just about having 28% women delegates. It's hopefully 50% women delegates. It's about the extent to which they can shape and influence the conference outcomes. So with this uh, initiative, we expect to have discussions, especially in gender neutrality, a language for the ITU, also other activities and actions for uh, women. The first time I uh, attended uh, one of the ITU meetings, at the beginning you're very scared of taking the floor and uh, just speaking. It requires some courage. When women are encouraged to participate in the meetings of ITU, they will have a lot to contribute. Every time when there is a woman, actually things seem to move faster. There's a lot of women that are taking positions of leadership, chairing sessions. This is something which I also feel that uh, in the near future, we will have more women, including myself, adding their voice in such conversations.